저는 이런 분들이야말로 우리 시대의 진정한 영웅이라고 생각합니다. A tearful President Park read out the names of passengers and crew who died trying to save others in a ferry disaster that's had increasing political repercussions. This was her most formal apology to date in this televised address to the nation. I could not sleep properly for the last few days in anguish, she said, thinking of the terrible pain of many students who have not bloomed yet. The final responsibility for not properly dealing with this incident is placed on me. The helicopters and boats that came to the aid of the ferry as it sank off the South Korean coast a month ago were to rescue only just over a third of those on board. Of the passengers, 339 were children and their teachers on a school trip. Last week, the captain, accused of escaping from the doomed vessel before the passengers, was charged with manslaughter, along with three other crew members. But amid the outpouring of grief over the tragedy, the Coast Guard has been in the spotlight too, and today the president said it had been a failure, particularly in the initial stages, and it would now be broken up and its rescue duties transferred to a national safety agency. The Commissioner General of the Coast Guard said they humbly embraced the nation's and the president's opinion, and they would do their best until they found the very last missing passenger. Eighteen people are still missing. Relatives have now expressed concern that the continuing search operation could be affected by the disbanding of the Coast Guard. But the president clearly acknowledged today that wider issues of public safety are a major political issue in South Korea. Mike Aldridge, BBC News.